How you doing everybody? This is Alfredo from Easy Money With Me and today I'm going to be doing a quick Craigslist training. Um, there's plenty of training out there on YouTube or you search for I'm sure you can find plenty of training. Um, this is uh, as of January 16, 2013. Uh, I'm just doing what works for me. You guys are free to do whatever you feel like. Uh, I just want to give this out to my team and let you know what's working at the moment for me. Um, it's, it's free. Other than Craigslist Ad Tracker, which we'll go over in a minute, um, I post for free and I get a lot of uh, traffic. So I'm going to just take you step by step and show you how I do it. And uh, you guys, you know, I recommend just trying the same methods I do. It works for me, so it should work for you too. So here we go. So first thing you want to do is clear your cookies, okay? Clear your browser with the cookies. You don't have to clear the history and all the websites. Just clear your cookies for whatever reason. That's what works for Craigslist. So that's what I'm telling you to do. Okay, I happen to live in Pennsylvania in the Lehigh Valley area. So I'm going to start off here. You start off in the city that you live in. Now, th my particular city does not get any traffic. So what is the safe thing to do is you can post anywhere in this section here, anywhere that's considered a nearby city. So go down here and figure out which city would get a lot of traffic. In this case, uh, Baltimore gets a lot of traffic. Um, maybe Delaware would get some traffic. Uh, New York gets a lot of traffic, obviously, anywhere in Jersey. Philadelphia gets a lot of traffic. Uh, that's about it. Um, you can do your research and find out, you know, just Google Craigslist traffic and find out which cities get a lot of traffic. But I know for a fact that some of these do. So today I'm going to post in uh, Philadelphia. So what you want to do is click on that city, okay, and then you're going to log into your account. Now I'm going to pause the video um, just for like, you know, personal reasons. I don't want you guys to see all my information and then I'm going to log in and show you guys exactly what to do next. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm logged into my account. Okay. And um, I already picked the city, Philadelphia. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to post in the uh, gig section. Okay. It happens to work for me. Okay. You want to hire? That's fine. Uh, today we're going to post in the computer gig section. I happen to use computer gigs, uh, writing gigs, and event gigs. You can try any one. You can test them out, see what works for you. I'm telling you what's been working. It's been computer gigs. So I use uh, computer gigs, uh, event, or writing. You can, like I said, play around with them, see what works for you. So we're going to be posting an ad for Instant Payday, so I'm going to use uh, computer gigs. Okay, so at this moment, I'm going to hold it right here. I'm going to move over to uh, Craigslist Ad Tracker. Okay, honestly, if you're not, if, you, if you're looking to post, uh, actually, if you're looking to market on Craigslist, I'm just not talking about like regular posting, you want to sell your car or something like that. You have to use Craigslist Ad Tracker. Hands down, there's no doubt about it. It's just not going to work without it. I, I, just, I can't tell you anything more. It's just not going to work without it. Okay, you're not going to know what your ads are doing. You're not going to know if they're sticking. You're not going to know if they're being ghosted, if there's any traffic. You're going to be basically posting blindfolded. Uh, you're going to waste a lot of time. Just use Craigslist Ad Tracker. It's CraigslistAdTracker.com. It's about $13, $14 a month to use it. Okay, you just need it. Okay, I mean, look at these hits. How would I know what traffic I'm getting if if I don't have a Craigslist Ad Tracker? Yesterday alone, I got 300 hits off of one ad. Okay, that's the kind of stuff you need to know. Okay, at the same time, I posted an ad yesterday. Uh, something went wrong. Either it got ghosted or... I don't know what case, it didn't get no traffic, nothing. So something must have happened. So obviously um, you need to know what's going on with your ads, okay, or else you're going to be wasting your time. So get Craigslist Ad Tracker, you just need it, okay. In this case, I usually post image ads, okay. So this works perfect for image ads. We go to image tracking, and um, I already have my images uploaded, and this is perfect. I mean, this tool is like the godfather of tools for Craigslist. Okay, it hosts the images for you. All you gotta do is simply go uh, here, and you can upload any images you have for Craigslist, whatever uh, for whatever company you're promoting. I like to use generic ads because in my case, we need to sell to click. We need people to click on the ad and go to the video, to the website, capture page, whatever it is we're trying to go to. So I use generic ads. Okay, so uh, here's a little uh, strategy right here that we use. Um, I'm waiting for the ad. Okay, here we go. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to be using these two ads. 
And when you say two, there's a reason. Um, we actually go over this in the easy money training. If you're down with the easy money method, you would know about this. If not, get down with us. There's, there's certain things like this that we teach uh, to our team, but you guys are going to uh, actually learn a little bit today. I just want to point out, okay, credit ad, ad tracker. When it comes to image, um, when it comes to image ads, it knows Craigslist better than it knows itself. It knows what to look for. So it would actually, um, if you pay attention, you see the, uh, the, the direct link right here. If you um, refresh the page, okay, it changes just like that. Okay, it knows Craigslist. So it knows it has to mix up the links every single time because that's what Craigslist looks after. It looks after links, embedded links, and it blocks them. So I just refresh the page and it changes all the links again. All right, let me get down to it. So what I'm going to do is see I have, uh, pay attention here, I have the bottom and I have top. Okay, I'm going to get to that in a minute. I don't want the top part of the image ad to be clicked on. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take the uh, image code alone. Okay. I'm going to go over to my posting. I'm just going to copy and paste and put it in there. So in this case, it's just going to show the image. Okay, it's not going to be a clickable image. Now what I'm going to do for the bottom half, I'm going to take the image code, copy and paste, and I'm going to go over to uh, link tracking, and I'm going to create a new ad. So I'm going to do, since I'm using an image ad, I'm going to paste the image code right there. So now this is going to become a clickable ad, just the bottom portion. Okay, now I'm going to create a headline for it. Okay, so... You know, you got to catch people's attention. Um, looking for two people to start today. Okay. Paid daily. Okay. You guys can play around with it. Don't <clears throat> don't copy exactly what I do. Play around with it. Figure out, you know, what would catch your attention. Um, like I said, I'm not talking about the business. I'm not talking about anything. I'm just trying to catch some people's attention, uh, looking for two people to start today, paid daily, or let's see, uh, paid same day, okay, let's just try it, uh, specific location, I'm just going to, I always use the same city I'm in, it really doesn't matter because this is a online business, so it doesn't really matter, just to play it safe, if I'm posting in Philadelphia, I'm going to just put Philadelphia right here, okay, so now I'm going to copy and paste, Okay, the title, go back to link tracking and put it right here. This is just for my, for my purpose only. This is just for me to track what ads I put up and how they're, how they're performing. So when I go back to my table, I can see exactly which ad it is that's performing and not. So I grab the title. Okay, uh, I post in a Philadelphia, so I'm just going to put the initials. Uh, gig computer this is just for me no one else is going to see this but you this is just for you to know uh, which ad you're referring to okay so that's going to be the title that's going to be the clickable portion and I am going to give me one second okay I'm going to pick the website that I'm sending it to in this case it's going to be the instant payday so I'm going to copy and paste the URL okay, I don't need it and I'm going to paste it here. And that's where it's going. Okay, this is my domain. So obviously don't use it. It's not going to go to you. Uh, you I recommend you guys purchase a domain. They're cheap, about $9, $10 for the year. And, um, you know, it's always better to just use your own domain and mask it. That way it always looks unique to Craigslist. It's not everybody posting the same thing, which is Instant Payday Network. So you can use that. It's fine. Okay, so I have the title. I have my little code, so I know which ad I'm, I'm referring to. I got the image code that it, that it's going to. I got the link that's gonna be um, it's gonna take the uh, the visitors to. Okay, and I'm done. Just hit generate code. Okay, there it is. Copy. Okay, watch this, guys. Watch how easy this is. Paste. Boom. So I got the top half of the ad, which is not clickable. It's just the image, and I got the bottom half, which is uh, clickable. Okay, pay cash paid today. Uh, you can use an amount if you want. I'm just, it really doesn't matter. Uh, 625 to 
say $147 daily. Okay, it really doesn't matter, guys, just whatever. Okay, um, I'm gonna continue. Okay, I don't need a cross street. I just don't include, it really doesn't matter. Okay, so here it is. Voila, that's it. There's your header. Okay, you go right here. You cannot click on it, but this part is. So they go right here. Okay. Okay, there you go. So let me go back. We're good to go. Okay. And everything looks good. Continue. That's it. You're done. Okay. This is the URL. It's going to be done. Okay, now when you go back to Craigslist Ad Tracker, go back to Trackers. Okay. Watch this. There it is. Looking for two people to start today, paid same day. Philadelphia gig computer section. It's got one hit. That was from the one I just showed you. Okay. Here's a click through. It shows it. It's my IP. And that's it. Okay. And you're good to go. So now you just check back, you know, within a couple of hours and see how the ad is performing. Obviously, if there's no traffic, it's probably been ghosted or flagged or whatever reason. I honestly don't know. Craigslist is funny like that, but obviously it's not working so you might want to look into reposting this one uh, and that's it guys that's basically it you need craigslist ad tracker if you're going to uh, do marketing online with craigslist just don't even bother uh, if you're not going to use craigslist ad tracker there's plenty of other features okay but the main thing i use is trackers link tracking to create a new uh, ad also um you could ask you could actually also do um IP monitoring, which is pretty cool. If you get flagged, it'll, you can find out who flagged you here and block the IP. Let me just show you real quick. Okay, this is like advanced stuff. Um, it shows you the IP address of the people who are reviewing your ad. Okay, these are these were flaggers. Okay, I found the IP and I had blocked all of them. So next time, they will not be able to see my ad again. So once I find out who it is, I block them and stop them from seeing any more ads. That's a very cool feature inside Craigslist Ad Tracker. Okay, so you have that, and then you have the image tracking where, like I said, you can have all your images already loaded into Craigslist and host it for you, and these will be all your image ads. Okay, as you can see, look, the, the link changed again. Okay, it changes every time you refresh it. Okay, and if you don't have any uh, image ads, uh, if you're on my team, I'll provide some for you. Um, no problem. Just, you know, this is these are some of the images I use. Some of them are, no, actually, actually don't get that much traffic. So I'm going to do, you just have to test them out and see which ones work. Okay, so this concludes my uh, Craigslist training. I hope this uh, helped you out, and I'll see you in the next video.